Uh, no, guys, no. It's something unbelievable. Really, it's true. Everybody knows that Russia lives under unprecedented sanctions for a long time. And at this terrible, cruel time, our authorities open new 10 underground stations. And do you know where am I? Can you guess? I will tell you. This is the longest escalator, new escalator in Moscow. Amazing. 130 meters. Hello, my dear viewers. My name is Marina and I have a great surprise for you today. I'd like to invite you to travel with me around new stations and new line of Moscow subway. I hope all of you remember my previous video about Moscow subway and I remember you were amazed. You know, uh, Moscow underground, Moscow subway didn't work for only one day in its history. I'll explain you why. It happened on the 16th of October 1941 and uh, you know that there was a Second World War, terrible World War at that time, and the enemy, fascist enemy, came too close to Moscow, and Moscow underground were mined. Of course, everybody was in panic. Stalin decided to blow up the metro, uh, but the next day, the subway was reopened and the enemy was thrown far away from Moscow and the final all of you know I think all people understand why Russians hate Nazis and now let's start to explore new stations oh my dear friends if you are a fan of minimalism style this station Klinovy Boulevard is for you let's see yeah this station is not deep and uh, let's see the station itself <laughs> it's really minimalistic oh and have a look at the wonderful benches it looks like uh, stones or pebbles uh, let's go further. And truth be told, this new station, Nagatinsky Zaton, is my winner in my own championship of new stations. Isn't it wonderful? With the great fish. All these fish, and there are 14 uh, fish here on the station, uh, made from stone and glass. They are all fish from Moscow River and uh, rivers of Moscow region. All Moscovites and the guests of our city are really amazed. <laughs> it's not a subway station this is a museum I think it's great great idea the main treasure of our Moscow rivers is pike and I know somewhere here uh, there is a wonderful designed pike on the wall and I'm looking for it. I'm not a fisherman or fisherwoman. Maybe you can help me to identify it. pike or not pike. Maybe there. Oh, I, I'm not sure. Help me, fisherman. I hope you don't think it's easy peasy to find a pike among 14 fish on the walls. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I won't leave this station without Pike. Don't cry, Marina. This is your Pike. The length of it is 14 meters. And now, my dear viewers, we are riding right under the water because there is a Moscow River above us and uh, the length of this tunnel is 550 meters and all this tunnel goes right under the water. The length of new big circle line is more than 70 kilometers and there are 31 stations and 10 of them are really new. They were built under sanctions. If you want to charge your phone in a Moscow subway, you are always welcome because every seat has its own charger. And I remind you that uh, there is a free Wi-Fi in our underground. Oh, guys, the new station Sokolniki is something really extraordinary. Uh, we have one of the oldest stations of Moscow subway, also Sokolniki. It's connected with, with the, this station, but this is really new. The new Sokolniki station of Big Sokol Line. The old Sokolniki station is 90 years old, and this Sokolniki station is six days old it's new 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 <laughs> and do you see the decoration of the walls it's so so nice really uh, these are fragments of the advertising posters and slogans of uh, 1930s maybe last century and it's about the victory of communism does anybody believe nowadays in a victory of communism me not truth be told but the station is perfect it reminds us our history and we love our history all russians are proud of our history you may ask anybody and some trains are really outstanding this one is dedicated to the great patriotic war Elektrozavodska station also looks outstanding. Have a look at that. Mm. And the schedule of uh, trains is every one and a half minutes here. Not bad. What do you think? And this uh, new big circle line reminds a heart with it, its shape, you see? And another heart is also uh, our metro, <laughs> another line. Oh my gosh, the most futuristic and psychedelic station, New Rishskaya station. Oh, have a look at that. Mm, I think everybody is impressed. The main uh, element of style is uh, lighting archers. It's wonderful, really. And what do you think about this space screen? Guys, I want to sit here or lie on the floor and sing 
Om. And I want to be involved in this inner space world. It's so relaxing. Mm. No. Never. If I fly away, who will film new videos, new exciting videos about Moscow? Hmm? And by the way, guys, you may congratulate us because now in Moscow there is the biggest circle line in the world. I can tell you a secret. In Beijing, the main circle is only 57 kilometers and here in Moscow is 70 kilometers. We are happy. For sure. Uh, it doesn't look like a heart uh, on the map, but here you can see something similar to a circle or, or heart. Uh, this is new line, 31 stations. And it's so nice, I can't believe. Uh, another newborn station is Davidkovo. Probably it looks a little bit uh, weird. Uh, unusual but have a look at this will you guess what is this you see people saving lives other people. Yes, of course. It was inspired by lifestyle and work of Ministry of Emergency Situation. I suppose that the Ministry of Emergency Situation is located somewhere above us. But I'm not sure, guys. But the station looks really impressive and unusual. What do you think? Wow, guys, you have a great chance to see how old-school trains looked. Um, I don't know exactly the year of producing these trains. You see, USSR and symbol of USSR. We remember everything, we remember our roots. Oh, have a look. This is a train of 1935. Of course, after reconstruction, it was renewed. Overwhelming, in my opinion. And this is Aminyevskaya station, my dear viewers. It impressed me with its extraordinary ceiling. Have a look at that. It looks like a wave, really. And this construction creates the effect of movement. I think it's really unique. And you know, do you remember this, uh, the name of this style? It's pop art and it was popular in 1960s, last century. Guys, I don't know what to say. My words are finished. You will see right now everything by yourselves. This is Michurinsky station. Michurinsky Prospect Station, I would say. And can you guess what style is it? Yes, you're quite right. This station is dedicated to the friendship of two great powerful countries, Russia and 
of course, Russia and China. And a group of Russian Chinese architects created these wonderful decorations with Chinese ornaments. Mmm, I love this. Silver, black and red colors, the colors of our friendly China. I know how to say hello in Chinese. Just a moment, just a moment. My dear Chinese friends, Ni hao. Oh, and this is amazing. Fantastic new station, Novatarskaya. Wow. These glass panels on the ceiling uh, creates the atmosphere of flow of lights, warm colors, beige, orange, brown and yellow and it's something, something stunning and overwhelming. I love it so much. It gives you mood. That's the most important thing. Wow, my gosh. Write down in comments what stations um, do you like more? It's like burning ceiling. It means the energy of, of new life, of, of new world. Really fabulous. And this new station, Voronsovska, brings me, you know where? to space it's wonderful really and it was it was inspired by space and it crosses uh, the station Kalushskaya and maybe you know that uh, in Kaluga city a great Soviet scientist of uh, technological cosmonautics was born Konstantin Tselkovsky. I feel like I'm in, in a space rocket of um, of 25th century <laughs> but too many people traffic jams began I have to come back home it's really too long, 130 meters. It takes me maybe two minutes to go down, maybe more. And do you remember my previous video? Um, here is the link. And I told you about uh, escalator um, in Victory Park station. It was 126 meters, meters and it was the longest at that time. But now, after maybe one month or less, this is the longest escalator, 130 meters, and we are proud of it. I see. I've done it. Big circle, 31 stations, and now again Marina Rocha with this with its longest uh, escalator. And it's time to say goodbye. And here is the link. To my best videos about about Russian grocery stores.